Hey, what's up, hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Kayla, and today we are going thrifting. Hey guys, hello, welcome to the channel. Like I said, today we are going thrifting. I actually haven't been to a thrift store in a while. You guys would know I pretty much always film when I go. Um, I don't really thrift as much as I used to, and in large part that is because I felt I've been feeling very like satisfied and happy with my wardrobe and the pieces of clothing I have. However, I am very much missing a lot of winter pieces and as it is getting cold today is 49 degrees where I live it's been about 49 degrees all day um but as it's getting cold I've realized that I'm kind of missing some sweaters in my life and I think I'm also missing just like some thicker pants and skirts like wool skirts and things like that now I do think that these are going to be sort of more difficult pieces to find in the thrift, but I do want to give it a go. Um, I also have plans to make some like heavier duty, thicker skirts, um, and maybe even try my hand at making pants. I've not done that yet, so that would be really fun to try and see if I can do it. Well, no, I, I know I can to see how it turns out, um, but yeah, so today basically on the thrift list, I want to find a just a plain dark brown cable knit sweater if I can. Um, I want to see if I can find an orange long sleeve sweater. I do have a, a short sleeve top that's made out of like a sort of knit material so it's very sweater like but it is short sleeves and it's getting a bit cold outside so again I would like to find a longer sleeved one. Um, I don't actually have pretty much any gray in my wardrobe and gray is actually one of my favorite colors so I would love to see if I can find maybe just a nice crew neck gray sweater like a cable knit one or just like a knit sweater not like a sweatshirt and stuff like that and perhaps maybe now I do have a couple of pairs of brown pants now and I I do like them but neither of them are actually the style of pant that I am looking for I am looking for those sort of vintage cigarette trouser styled pants so if I can find a brown pair or a black pair that'd be great now my Goodwill has the dressing rooms open they've been open for a few months now um, so I am comfortable with going into a fitting room and trying things on um, so I'll be doing that if I happen to find a pair of pants that I like and I usually try on sweaters too because I'm quite particular actually I don't love when they're really like tight on my armpits because I will sweat <laughs> even if it's cold outside um, and I just don't love that feeling so I'll probably try bits and bobs on but yeah I mean I love this Goodwill this is my favorite Goodwill to come to the people here know that I have a YouTube channel and that I film when I walk around um, and actually one of my friend's brothers works here um, and he's just the sweetest and every time I see him it like it just <laughs> brings joy to my day um, so I'm gonna head inside and that's like I said kind of the list I'm looking for just some sweaters um, I really don't need any red or green sweaters I don't think unless I find like a sage green sweater I don't think I really need one I don't have any pink sweaters so maybe I'll look for a pink sweater or like maybe a light blue I don't know I don't wear a ton of blue but yeah so that's kind of what I'm looking for so let's head on in see if we can find any cute vintagey pieces any Christmassy pieces and then some sweaters I don't really think I need more Christmas sweaters I am trying to work my way up to having 25 Christmas sweaters so I have one for every day leading up to Christmas I think I'm pretty close so Maybe if I find one that I'm really, really over the moon about, I'll pick it up. But aside from that, I'm not sure how much I actually need one. But anyway, let's go ahead and sign. Today's been a great day, by the way. It's Black Friday of the day that I'm filming this, and I finished all of my Christmas shopping today for, like, great deals. Great deals. And I am very, very excited about it. <laughs> Um, so yes. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, so right off the bat, I was looking through the Christmas rack and I just saw this really beautiful crocheted top. Now, I don't really wear shirts like this, so I'm not sure that I'm actually gonna get it, but look how beautiful it is. Okay, so the sweater section is like packed at the moment, so I'm actually gonna start in the dresses and see if I can find anything sort of vintagey over here. So let's see what we can find.
I'm not even gonna lie to you. I just found so many beautiful dresses. And of course, none of them, except for one, are like wintry. They're very much like spring, summer, but oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. I cannot wait to try them on. I hope they all fit. <laughs> Okay, so after I finished looking through the dresses, I headed over to the sweater section because it calmed down over there a little bit. So let's head over there now. This, but it's definitely not gonna fit me but this is so cute i'm not even gonna lie i love this sweater but holy moly it must be like 100 percent wool or something yeah because man this feels itchy but it is really pretty I do think this is really cute, but I don't know that I would get much wear it well in the fall, but it is quite oversized, so perhaps not. I do think this is so darling, but it is quite stained. Honestly, I don't really feel like I wear that much pink even though it's my favorite color and while i not well i might not wear a ton of pink i do wear a lot of like mauve mauve this is really cute it's like a little shawl thing it is a size small but it's like a shawl right like a poncho i'm gonna try it This little cardigan is giving me 1950s vibes with the polka dot details. Okay guys, so honestly I have a ton of stuff in my cart um, in terms of sweaters and vintage looking dresses, which is exactly what we came in here for. I didn't see anything in the skirt and um, pant section but I am now gonna look in the fabric and just see if I can find anything so I can make like a heavy duty skirt and already I'm like hello this would be incredible this is a lot of fabric it's only six dollars and seventy nine cents too so I might grab this this would be like a nice heavy duty skirt so I think I'm gonna that up. But I'm gonna look around and see if I can find any other fabrics for clothing pieces I want to make. I'm not gonna lie, I do think this would make a lovely pattern for a dress in like the spring and summer. I don't think I'm gonna get it because I don't love the texture of this material. It's quite like stiff and I know you can soften it with different like washing things but I'm gonna leave it though it is a very pretty pattern. Now I'm just perusing the home decor. This is so cute.
gosh, this is such a dark academia desk lamp. What the heck? Okay, I have this like really fragile glass lamp in here. But I am gonna try to just really quickly run through everything and then I'll catch back with, with you guys when I get home. This is so cute. I obviously don't have my pants on. I was wearing bike shorts underneath my dress. But this is so cute. I love the little sleeve detail and the collar detail. And I think with like the right pair of pants or like skirt, this would look really cute. I think I am gonna get this. Okay, this is kind of basic, but I don't love how it's sitting on my arms like this. So I'm gonna pass on this. I mean, honestly, this fits, but I don't feel nice in it at all. It's also so thick that I feel like I will never wear it. So I'm gonna pass. Okay, this one I like quite a bit, and it's 50% off because today's, like, this week's color is yellow. I think I'm gonna get this. It's a great basic. Honestly, I kind of like this. I don't really understand how a poncho can have a size, but this is nice. I think I'm gonna get it. All right, well, this dress is pretty, but it's too big. And I think because of, like, where it's too big, it just doesn't make me feel great. And I also cannot button these. If this were a size smaller, I think it would have been perfect, but it is an extra large, so there was like a chance it was going to be too big. Alright, so this is a size medium and it does fit. Wow. This shape, it like billows out a lot. I don't like it. I did think this was going to be flowy. I'm not huge on like skin tight things like this. I just doesn't make me feel super confident. I'm going to pass. This is the one I was the most excited about, and this one fits, and this one I really like. All right, guys, so it's a few days later. I have washed everything and wiped things down, and let me show you what I got. So we'll start with how much I spent. So I spent $37. I did round up, so $37 flat. But I did get six total items, so really it's not that bad, and one of those pieces is home decor, and honestly, one of the things that I got probably would have cost me like 20 30 bucks if I had bought it brand new so let me show you guys what I got we'll start with the clothes so as you all know the whole sort of intention of this thrift trip was to get some sweaters I did get two sweaters and like a knit sort of shawl poncho looking thing so let me show you the first one so up first I got this brown sweater here this is in a size large it's from the brand mercantile which is a j crew brand it says and i love this now it's not exactly the brown i was looking for i do love the color but i think i was hoping for a much darker and also sort of like cable knit sweater but i do really like this and i know i'll get a ton of wear out of it um i do have a sort of red brown sweater um but it has like white stripes on it so it's nice to just have a full-on solid basic knit and so i'm excited to have this yeah i tried it on in the dressing room you guys saw me try it on and it felt really comfortable so i'm happy to have this if i'm being honest with you guys i've been struggling with my body image a lot lately um i have kind of always struggled with body image issues but like lately it has just sort of been very much amplified and I'm not really sure why. I, it's not like I've been spending extra time on social media um, or hanging out with people who are constantly like making me think about it. Um, but I think I've noticed changes in my body and I'm not like feeling great about it. So I don't know. I've been feeling really discouraged, but I felt really, really nice in this sweater. And so even though I have like a brown sweater already, I just, I saw myself in it, I felt great in it, and I was like, you know what, I haven't been feeling great in my clothes, let me get this. So I did pick it up, and this was actually half off, so it only cost me $2.89, which is very good for a sweater. Also half off was the little sort of shawl thing, you know, this knitted shawl. I did try this on in the store as well. Um, I couldn't really try it on properly because I just like chucked it on as like a shirt now this is in a small medium but like i don't really know why a shawl would have like a size per se like i could see it being like a standard size versus a plus size but i don't know i i mean i guess the way it drapes but anyway this fit me fine um so i was excited to pick this up i don't really have anything in this mauvey pink color and i absolutely 
adore it. It's so, so cute. I love the fringe at the end. I haven't always historically been the biggest fan of fringe, um, but I do love it on the sort of like poncho looking situation. Um, but yeah, I am so excited to have this. I've been wanting to have some more sort of capes and ponchos in my collection and just like sort of shawl bits. I guess not really a shawl. Shawl sort of like lay over your shoulders. So I guess it is more like a poncho cape kind of thing. But anyway, I was so excited to pick this up and this was $2.39. And then the last one I picked up is this one from Loft. This is in a size large, and I just thought this was so cute. This was actually brand new with tags still on it. And this is a gray color, which I did say I wanted to pick out a gray sweater. Now this one's got a bit of a fun detail on it. It's got these really cute sort of like cuffed sleeves, I guess you can say. They kind of come out as like a little bell just right around the wrist. And then it also has the ruffle around the collar, which I think is so, so cute. I think I said this, it's from the, is that actually, it says Loft Outlet and it is in a size large and it fits so well and I cannot wait to wear this. I think this will be great for like, you know, work, for like Zoom calls and stuff like that. Um, but also it would just be really nice and like professional looking and cozy and I really like it. And the sort of very dainty, delicate floral pattern in the ruffles and on the sleeves were just so precious to me. So I was very excited to pick this up. Gave me a little bit of like winter cottage core vibes. So I was excited to pick this up for sure. Okay, moving away from winter wear, this is absolutely not a dress I will be wearing in the winter because I will be freezing my booty off. But this dress here is so cute. I'm not sure you can properly see it, but there, there will be an overlay on the screen. But this is a absolutely gorgeous cream colored dress, which I prefer cream to stark white. So, so excited for this. Um, it is a cream dress with the most delicate, beautiful floral pattern I've ever seen. It's tiered at the bottom, which I think looks so gorgeous. And it has this delicate, wonderful lace Peter Pan collar and pearl buttons going down the front. This is from the brand Larissa New York and there's actually no size in it, but I looked at it at the, in the store and I was like, this will definitely fit me. Um, and it does, it is a tad bit too big, but it has some straps to tie in the back. So it's totally perfect and I'm on cloud nine. I showed it to my mom and she said it reminded her of stuff she used to wear in the nineties. And I'm pretty certain this is probably a nineties dress. So I just absolutely adore it. It's got a sort of like lily or daffodil type of pattern on it. So there's that with like little sort of leaves intertwined. And yeah, it's just so delicate and so cute and also very cottage core, I do think. And I adore this so, so much. I know that I will get so much wear out of this in the summer and in the spring. Um, I probably, like I said, won't be wearing it in the winter. I could definitely wear it with a pair of tights if I was feeling up to it. Um, so perhaps it'll make an appearance in the next couple of months. Perhaps it won't. I don't know. <laughs> only time will tell. Now moving away from actual clothing items, those are the only four pieces of actual clothing I got. Um, I did pick up some fabric and I did pick up a home decor piece. So let me show you the fabric first. I did forget to mention the loft sweater and then the dress were both $5.79 each. Now on to something else. I did get some fabric. Now this fabric was $6.79, which holy moly, you guys, this is the most fabric in the world ever. Like it just, it never ends. And this is a really heavy duty sort of like, I think I would say this is like a tweed material. And it is a maroon, navy, white, and orange plaid. Now you guys ask that I show you a tutorial for how to make a pinafore. And that is exactly what I plan to do with this. I will be filming a pinafore tutorial for you guys really soon here. Um, I wanted to get some really like heavy duty fabric. I think I mentioned that previously to make some wool skirts. Um, and this is a heavy duty tweed, which would keep me very, very warm in the upcoming winter. So I figure I can make a pinafore dress out of this with like a long circle skirt and it will keep me nice and toasty. And of course I can throw tights on if it's exceptionally cold outside. Um, but this is so much fabric. I will undoubtedly have leftovers. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest, but I'm so excited to have this. It's just such a lovely material and I don't have anything in this sort of colorway. I honestly, it's I think very rare to sort of see orange tied into the sort of navy white and red color palette and I felt like it was very unique and very fun and 
For me, it makes it feel like it would be very easy to wear in the winter or in the fall surrounding Halloween time. So I was very happy to pick this up. And for $6.79, if I were to get this at Joann's or something, this would probably cost me 50 bucks. Like realistically, this is probably maybe five, six yards of fabric and it feels very high quality. So it's a ton of fabric. I was very excited to pick this up. Okay, and the last thing that I got is perhaps my favorite thing that I got. Um, I rarely buy big home decor pieces at the thrift store. I buy candlestick holders or, you know, like cottage shaped teapots or baskets to hang on the wall or things like that. But I very rarely buy like big pieces. Like I've definitely bought like picture frames before or like wall hangings, but furniture pieces, lamps, those aren't things I normally buy. Well, as I was walking through the lamp section, I was like, oh my gosh, my beating heart. That is the most perfect lamp I've ever seen. And I was clearly on like a kick because it has like a really similar pattern to this dress. Um, this lamp here. This is perhaps the most beautiful lamp I've ever seen in the entirety of my life. So the shade itself is actually glass and then it has this kind of it's a tarnished brass like it's obviously aged but I quite like how that looks it gives it character and my dad even asked me if I was going to polish it and I told him I don't think I will I might polish it just to maintain its integrity but I don't feel the need to make this look brand new if that makes sense I actually like that it looks a bit aged um but it is this brass lamp goldish colored brass lamp <laughs> That is actually, I tried it out, I tried it out at the thrift store. If you touch the bottom once it's plugged in, it dims. And then inside is so cute. It's like kind of like a candelabra and you put three like sort of candle shaped light bulbs inside. And then the shade of course is over it. And it is just so gorgeous and vintagey looking and I'm so excited. I did pick up some new light bulbs because one of them is blown. Actually two of them worked which was pretty exciting but I'm gonna switch them all out because I bought some dimmable LEDs um, so that will be better for the environment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch them all out but I'm so stoked about this lamp. It has this gorgeous floral print on the glass panels and it is in this lovely sort of warm rich pink and then there's a bit of orange and brown on there as well it's basically the same color pink as my wall and it ties in those sort of warm autumnal colors which i tend to keep in my room all year long so i was really really stoked to pick this up and it was only ten dollars and 75 cents which i felt was a great deal for something this beautiful <laughs> All right, guys, so that is everything that I got from the thrift store. It's not a massive haul, but I haven't really been feeling the need to buy like a ton of clothes. I was happy to pick up a few sweaters. There's definitely still a couple of more types of sweaters I would like to find. I definitely want to get a good cable knit one with this sort of, you know, zigzaggy type of twisted braid <laughs> um, pattern on it. Um, so whether I buy that on Poshmark or Depop, well, I don't really use Depop. I don't like it that much, but Poshmark or ThreadUp or at a physical thrift store, I definitely want to keep my eyes open for something like that. But yeah, overall, I'm so, so pleased with everything that I got. Let me know what your favorite thing was. Bet for me, it's between this lamp and its matching dress. <laughs> they are just so stunning and I'm so excited to wear and use those pieces. Um, but yeah. Overall, I felt this was a very successful thrift trip. Not a ton of sweaters, but we got three sweater-ish type of things, which I think, you know, worked out great for me. But anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I upload new fashion-related content every single week, whether it's a thrifting with me, a styling, a lookbook. Recently, you guys let me know that you prefer voiceover lookbooks instead of just like the cinematic looking ones. So I'll definitely be keeping that in mind in the future. Um, but yeah, let me know what else you guys want to see. I love you guys so, so much. And don't forget, it costs absolutely nothing to be kind. So be kind to yourself and others. And I'll see you next week. Bye.